All right, I'm going to take a look at some LED lighting, their handheld flashlights, and how they're put together. Uh, let's see. Got a couple Harbor Freights, a larger one, uh, a couple mini mag lights, and well, that's actually something else uh, which we'll do talk about later. So, zoom in. All right, so first one, I've already taken the back off of these. If you've seen these, you get these free at Harbor Freight. It's, I don't know how they make money, it's weird. Uh, either way, so this first one, typically got three screws in the back so you get at the three AAA batteries, and you got four screws to pull the case apart. The back has a little hook on it. This particular one has a little piece of plastic and screws holding this hook in place from sliding inward. And it has a magnet that's pressed into this material. And this is plastic, molded plastic with a soft coating on it. Uh, the odd thing about I was pulling this apart is they have so many different screws. Doesn't really make any sense. And so then we go over here. One of these parts. So these are the older versions that have actual LED LED bulbs in them. Uh, little another molded piece of uh, plastic, more plastic, rubbery plastic, and okay, so here's this. Uh, so we've got three LEDs in the front and 24 on the board. Uh, this button on here cycles between turning these on going off, turning these on, and going off again. So there's like a some kind of rotary or flip switch inside there that cycles between those three positions. Um, so are those the same? Okay, so they're using the same screws in there. Uh, back of the circuit board, everything's in parallel. There's a little numbering on there. Is that LN0, maybe an 807? It's worn off, I don't know. Uh, and then the back of the front ones, they're just all in parallel. Okay, so here we have a. Let's see, we're good. Uh, red, red, black, which is 22 ohms. So that's going to the front lights. I think this one's really super dim. Uh, and then on the back here, we have a uh, brown, although it looks red, brown, green, gold, gold, which is, uh, what is that? Uh, 1.5. Okay, so that's the first one. Set that over in there. Second one, which is also the same, uses the same type of old style. Uh, this one is different in the back. So instead of, we still have the three screws, but in this case they were fine threaded screws and there's an insert, a threaded insert inside. So that seems like that costs a lot more money to put that in. I'm not sure maybe they did that because they expected people to be pulling this apart more to replace the batteries. Okay, so looks, this looks a little bit, even this, yeah, this looks a little bit even better 
manufactured even slightly different. Uh, the hook is, instead of being held in by a couple screw things, is just a little plastic plug. Uh, these screws are... <laughs> the screws holding the case to the front of the case are different than the previous version. Uh, the front's the same. This is all the same. Uh, this, <laughs> for whatever reason, they either put that resistor in a spot that they just decided not to put <laughs> a screw in here. There's only got one screw holding this down, which is the screw is for the button. Uh, that screw is. Uh, the same at least at least it's the same as the ones on the outside uh, Same thing going on uh, Back of the circuit board we got SL 11009 for whatever marking that is Everything's in parallel <coughs> Ah, The resistors now this is a brown, black, black, which is 10 ohms. So that's less than this. this is, I think this one is brighter. Uh, so that's for the front three. The back one is brown gray, which is 1.8. So this increased. So they're dimming this more. So I'm not sure if this one was the second iteration or which one was for it seems like this is because it has to be coming from the same place you'd think uh, all right then move to the more modern versions uh this this is weird okay so they went back to touching the back case with screws, coarse threaded screws instead of the fine threaded screws. Uh, and then the, so that was these ones, and then they got four holding it in place, which are smaller. Seems like could have used the same exact screws for everything. Uh, the hook is the exact same. The magnet, instead of being pressed like the other two, has <laughs> got these little tabs, so it's kind of loose in there. This thing, none of these are watertight. Uh, this oh, there's this is the piece of plastic instead of being separate pieces like the other ones is actually molded into the base holding keeping uh, the hook in place okay right, so then this uh, the front of the case is the same I think this color is slightly different it's more purpley but still the same shape now they went to uh, surface mounted cob strip uh, and the circuit card obviously got much smaller and these screws are also different they got three different types of screws holding the thing together seems more costly all right, so, and then yeah, instead of having its own little board, they're just soldered directly onto this, which, what does it say? 8095, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, oh, here's the other thing. Obviously, with this one, when they switched from this to this, they still kept the studs. But when it came over to this one, there are no studs in here. You can see the where the mold was filled in in those locations. Okay. So same switch, same. And the black is worn off brown, black, black. It has the previous one, which is like 10 ohms. So that's, so this, has to this since this is the new one this would have to be like second generation to these ones or unless this resistor was 
a mistake or something. Uh, there is no resistor on the cop strip, so let's see how that works. All right. Um, let's take those. Which, yeah, let's go to. Let's just take them all apart first, I guess. So this is another like a longer wand one from. I don't know where I just got this from somewhere. I already pulled the screws out of the back of it. Another one with a hook and a magnet that's set in. Uh, does that one have a plug? Yeah, it seems like that has a plug in it as well. So that's the back side. It's got little rubber strip things on the side to hold it in place. Okay, I got some rust on the contact. So there's the back of the circuit board. SL11011. Uh, two screws holding it on. That's where the switch is. No real reason to take this thing apart at all, I guess, because you know you can. There's the battery access compartment already. I mean, those are tiny screws. Okay. And that's another molded. Well, that looks terrible. I think these a couple defects here. Guess that passes. Maybe you don't see it. it doesn't reflect the same, I suppose. But I guess you won't see that at all. All right. So that is single red, red, gold, gold which is 2.2 and I think that's that's just a single switch so this is pretty much more simple than the Harbor Freight ones which have multiple functions okay uh, then got a couple flashlights so this flashlight very old got beat up nine bulbs uh, can't really tell what's down in there. I don't want to you know, try to get this apart and a couple of bulbs are bad anyway. But I think there's like a ring like you'd have on a key ring that you slide keys into. Like a double circle down in there that was pressed down in there. So this one's just a very simple piece of machined aluminum. Uh, of course it has a button on the back. And a, and a typical... Uh, three position three parts triple-a battery holder uh, I got this one which is much more elaborate it's got magnets in it to hold it on something multiple pieces so we got the back end battery case o-rings everywhere so this and then in here, everything comes from the back side. Where's. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. Like a piece of. Get that out of there. Just threaded piece of plastic which isn't watertight so that's kind of interesting so if you did drip, drop this in water it would find its way through the front case anyway uh, that's a piece of aluminum threaded aluminum that's holding the lights down in there and I think that's yeah just the same kind of molded shiny fake chrome uh, and then all these bulbs are in parallel 
Uh, so this is the front. So the other thing I think is, so there's no resistors in the front here anywhere, right? No. So I think there's got to be something in the back. So uh, when this turns on, the ground is going through the case. Uh, so that's already connected in the front. So that's this, just this edge here, not necessarily the threads because they're all uh, coated or anodized. Uh, yeah, these threads are anodized as well. So it's really only this edge here and this edge here that's touching. And those are not uh, behind an O-ring. So <laughs> if you drop that in water, this could corrode as well, I suppose. Let's see. Get anything out of this? <laughs> it's not on. <laughs> of course. Uh... That's just bizarre. No, come on. Seems like I was trying this before and I was just ridiculously not giving me. There we go. <laughs> Five, nine, oh, good grief. I don't know. Uh, why is it so different? <laughs> so maybe five, five and a half ohms resistor in there? I don't know. That's why I don't know why that's so flaky. All right. So, get this out of the way. All right. So then the next thing is I'm going to hook uh, these up to a power supply and see how many amps they're pulling. So as you can see that, uh, let me see, shut that off. No, there we go. Okay, so that is 4.5 volts. Um, it is pulling 56 milliamps, 0.25 watts. And this is the first one. That so this is 4.5 volts, point there, uh, 610 or 600 milliamps, 2.75 watts. It's fairly bright. Yeah, that does look dim. I wonder if that yeah, resistor is just the wrong resistor or something in there. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one. Uh, okay, so that's... Is this the one with the screwy? Yeah, I think I had one with a bad switch on it. Uh, yeah, I think this is the one. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe I won't be able to do that. Uh, 
Hmm. The power is there. The power is there. The ground is. Uh, so things are already grounded. Is it the ground that's being turned on or the power that's being turned on? Mm, all right, well. Oh, either way, I'm sure. Well, actually, I'll probably find out on the next one anyway. So, uh, heck with it. <laughs> okay. Whatever. All right, this one. version so that'd be the 10 ohm resistor so yeah that's definitely brighter uh, 4.5 volts and that's pulling 110 or milliamps half a watt so let me switch over to into that which is super bright grief and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see eight individual. Actually, is that even more visible? I don't know. Alright, okay, so but the odd thing is power supply changed itself to uh, 3.5 volts and went to constant current. So it's pulling uh, 840 milliamps. So each one of these is, since they're all in parallel inside there, I assume, pulling 100 milliamps or more. Can I change this? Or lower the voltage. Okay, so I can drop the voltage down. There's two. All right, there. Two point. Two point three kicked on. No. Yeah. Two point three volts. It kicked on. Okay, so that's forward on there. Interesting. And then it doesn't let it go over three point five volts. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. And what's my new one? Okay, so after I finished this video, <laughs> I was walking around the house and found another one of these stupid things. Okay, so this one, uh, there's another cob one, but I already took it apart and it's got the old the original style from the first one I took apart which <laughs> doesn't make any sense so this one I don't know if this is newer like I don't know where these fit in those when they were changing the designs on these or I imagine they have to be coming from the same place but whatever either way so this version has a pressed magnet screws holding this in the body has the hole in its unlike this one which has the pegs coming out of it uh, this housing looks just as old and junky as the original one yeah uh, so it's like this have mismatched parts maybe uh, when I pulled it apart the uh, part of this was crushing a couple wires and saving money I got one screw holding the thing down and this circuit card of course looks different from the other one and it has the red red black <laughs> resistor and it so it has a dimmer light uh, and has the front circuit card version as opposed to the ones that are soldered directly on the back so this has to be the newer version so this came about somewhere in the middle between these but as you can see it's got I'll turn it on let's see if I can get where are we at here it's got a little 
number on it, HK375J. So that board's a little bigger. Uh, it still has you know, an aluminum strip with it's going through. Oh yeah, that's a sitting in there. So this one's a sitting in here. Or is this one was sitting in there and they melted down the studs to hold it in place like a rivet would do. Interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, let me uh, let's hook it up, I guess. Um, Four point five. Uh, let me shut this off. And I see. Yeah, I guess that is kind of dim. Doesn't seem as dim as the other one, but okay. And that's pulling uh, sixty-eight milliamps, point three watts. All right. Oh, great. There's that. Uh, okay, so that is, okay, that <coughs> uh, change the voltage on the power supply down to 3.45 volts, and it is uh, pulling uh, 0.84 milliamps, 2.8 watts. Let me turn it down to see when it shuts off. It shuts off at 2.2. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go above 3.4. Let me change this back. Okay, so, and in this case, there's, well, can't really see it too well. It's darker. Okay, there's a, uh, 16 of these things in there. So 16 uh, LEDs in parallel on that strip. Oh, that is hot. Okay. <laughs> She's touching the metal strip on the back. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's, oh, is it 3.4 volts, 0.84 milliamps, and 2.88 watts? Uh, of course. I'll just shut that off. That's all right. So, I guess commentary wise, obviously, your batteries that you're putting in these are going to range from your regular alkaline batteries, uh, which are 1.5 volts. So, three of them would be 4.5, which, you know, the ones I have a little bit higher than that. And they also can put in uh, rechargeable, uh, rechargeable batteries that are 1.2 volts, and so that's 3.6. So obviously it runs it just fine, uh, and you can tell that the as you use them, they get dimmer and dimmer as your battery voltage drops in your batteries. Uh, this is yeah, let's see. Yeah. All right. So that oh, need to adjust the voltage back up. Four point five, this is pulling. Uh, 0 0.5, or 530 milliamps, 2.4 watts. It's basically just as bright as these other ones. Okay, so do you have any other? No. All right. Oops. Okay, so that's those uh, Harbor Freights. The other one, a couple flashlights. And I 
believe. Yeah, so the other thing is this thing is actually a, a regular light from the 80s. I'm gonna end up uh, pulling apart. It's got, I think it's for a, maybe a hazard thing to go with the vehicle or something. It's got hazard lights, a fluorescent tube, and an end light or spotlight. So let's see if I can uh, convert this to an LED. Uh, right now it's super heavy, takes six D cell batteries. So that's another project I'll be working on later. All right, and I think that is, uh, that's it. Any questions or comments, put them in the comments. <laughs>